Hey, what's up, y'all? It's gonna be a quick video to show you how to move the sounds from Ample Sound, any one of the guitar sounds that they make or any sounds they make, how to move it from your internal hard drive to your external hard drive because these files are really big and they can clog up the system quickly. So what you wanna do is simply go to um, where, um, when you install the sounds, where they go first. So you're gonna go here to Applications. If you're on version three, is Applications. If it's version two, I believe is in uh, Macintosh and then user and then shared that's where it would be it'd be ample sound here but we're not there we're, we're on version 3 so I'm going to go back to applications um, Apple sound and I want to do the TC so for instance when I first installed it it was here it said library uh, ACTG library but I wanted to move it here to my external right here where I did move it here see I put it over here on my external so now I got seven gigabytes of hard of uh, of uh, sounds on my external as opposed to my internal. See, seven gigabytes. Boom. So how do I get it to re how, how do I get it to find it? Because on here there is no place to click settings and point it anywhere. You have to go behind the scenes to make this work. So what you need to do is let's go back, go backwards, right back to the uh, application area, application. Go back to Apple Sound. Go back to this right here and go to um, configs. You want to go to instruments right here instruments you want to right click on it and i want you to go to text editor this is on the mac now i don't know about the pc it may work similar but this is the mac so um i've already changed my string the string is here and it ends here so anything between it is what you need to change so i changed it to this whole line here now what was the original the original was this this is what you're probably going to see and i'm going to put it back so you can see so the original was that let me go back. Hold on a second. Let me just copy only. We have that, the whole thing. All right, copy the whole thing over top of the string. So it's much smaller than, than that because it's, see, the string is here. Let me make it a little bit bigger so you guys can see it. Make it a little bit bigger. See? Let's get this bigger. Yeah. So basically, the address was string applications folder, Apple Sound, ATG library, and that ends the string. So it points to it. Every time it opens up, it points to it. Um, so in order for you to do it, because let me show you what you'll get if you don't have the right address. If you don't have this address in, if you don't have the sounds in there, uh, and let me save it. So let's say, for instance, I close this out and I reopen it. All right. The sound is, is there. But if I close out of reasons and reopen it, you'll see what happens. Close it out. Don't save it. Okay. All right. I'm going to reopen reason real quick. Reopen it. Okay. I'm gonna go right back to that to that sound. And you're gonna see what happens. So when I go back to that ample sound, when I click on it, boom, there's no sound. And I can't go to a settings. It only has presets here. I can't do anything for, for the sounds. So I gotta go here. I gotta go back here to the uh, text editor. I wanna change this to where my sounds are. So let's put back where I move my sounds, right on my external hard drive. So I'll put it back here, boom, boom, paste it, I'm gonna press save. Now it's saved, so it's pointing to, and that's just for that one sound. Every one, every every different um, instrument from Apple Sound has its own config folder. So you have to do it for every one, okay? So let me close this out. Let me uh, close that out. And I saved my original one in case I need to go back to it later if I change my mind. Um, so I want to close it out. We're going to close out reasons again for it to take effect. I'm going to close it. Close it. All right, so let's open up. Open up one more time. Okay. We're going to go right to the ample sound rack. Click it, and the sounds are there. So that's it. I hope this video was helpful. Please give me a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to the channel. And, um, you know, see you on the next video. Peace.